In today's video, I'm going to share four tips on how to promote your products on the Divi marketplace. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about tips on how to market your products on the Divi marketplace. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. So let's start off with tip number one. So tip number one is creating a promo video. So the reason why you need a promo video is it just makes everything look very professional. Unlike other sellers that just put a static image, if you add a promo video with some kind of uh, sound effects in the background, this is going to look very professional and also it's going to make your product really stand out. So let me show you a service that can help you create these promo videos very, very easily. So a few videos ago, I did a review of this service called invideo.io. It is really, really cool. You can create promo videos. You can even create slides, thumbnails, and so on. So going to focus on here is these templates. So if you come over here, you see we have our templates. So you could start off with a template similar to this. So if I click on this, you're going to see all the components of this by coming over here to use template. So once this loads up, it's going to give us an idea of how it was put together. And this is where you can upload your own assets that promote that specific layout or that specific product, which is going to be on the Divi marketplace. So over here, you can see we can go in here and uh, customize all this text by coming over here. So you can see here by clicking on it, you can go in and uh, make this pretty much say whatever you want. And we are also we also have the ability here to add our own images. So if you come over here to uploads, you can see here that we can upload our own images here by clicking on upload. And this then becomes your background for your first slide. So as you can see here, all these slides, they all have the graphics in there. So this background image can be your own image. And this text here can be customized. As I mentioned, you can also change your price. And just by double clicking into that, you can see how easily it is to go in and just add my price. And I've just changed that to $49. So this is very, very easy to use. And once you're done with this, all you have to do is to export it. And then you can upload it onto the uh, actual DV marketplace. Now, the second thing is how to create a how-to video. It's very important that you create a video that shows people how this product works, how to install it, and how to customize it. Because by not doing that, pretty much it's making it very difficult for people to know how to use it when they buy it. So I would really create a how-to video and then add it onto either a blog or onto your YouTube channel. Now, this brings us to number three, and this is creating a blog. Now, of course, if you buy the Divi license, this allows you to create unlimited websites. So what you want to do is to find a domain name and create your own blog. So the blog is going to have all your products that you create for the DV marketplace. So you can go into detail and talk about your products. And these may also be picked up via SEO, which is a very, very good thing. So I highly recommend that you do that. And you can also further customize your blog by using the theme builder, which is in the actual DV theme. So this allows you to build custom pages or custom blogs using the theme builder. Okay, so uh, moving on to the next thing. And in fact, before I move on to uh, the next tip, I want to talk about uh, the blog. So here on the blog as well, you may want to play around with GIFs. So GIFs do a very good job of showing people what these pages look like. And they, of course, they animate. So you can really see what is happening with these pages that you create. When you go on to the marketplace, in fact, let's head over here so I can show you how that works. So over here on the marketplace, you see here where it says live demo. Now, these live demo pages are not on the actual Elegant Themes website. These pages actually link to your own website. So it's advisable to have your own website or your own blog because this is where you're going to have your demos. And you can see here in the URL that this is not the um, Elegant Themes URL. So now we can go through this page and see what this page looks like. And you can see here with the gallery, when you mouse over it, it has all these animations on hover. 
So this is why it is very, very important to have your own website if you're going to be promoting products on the DV marketplace. All right, so let's talk about tip number four, and this is social media. So at this stage, what I would do is I would go on to Facebook and join web design groups and even DV groups. But what you don't want to do is to go in and spam on these groups. You want to go in and provide a lot of help and then also mention your products here and there. But it has to be in context to what you're talking about. So you don't want to go in and just spam in the groups. That is not a very good idea. You want to go in and provide 80% value and then perhaps maybe every now and again, just talk about your product or it has to be related to what you're talking about. Because if you spam uh, these groups, chances are you're going to be kicked out and also it's not really good anyways. So go in there, give a lot of help, give a lot of tips and then it's much easier now to go in and talk about your product. So while we're on social media, I also advise that you create your own group or uh, Facebook page and this is where you post your own content as well as uh, have some videos that you put on there and these may also help push your products and also if you want to go in and do some Facebook advertising this is where now you can go in and do your Facebook advertising because you can't do it if you don't have your own Facebook page or your own Facebook group so you make you need to make sure you have your own profile before you can do your advertising and as I mentioned it's easier if you have your videos then which you can boost or which you can promote while we're still here on social media I also like to mention that uh, social media really takes takes time to really grow your audience. So you have to be very patient, but just keep posting on it and it will grow slowly, slowly. Right. So now the other social media website that I want to talk about is Facebook. If you can create tutorials on your product, this will be very, very good because YouTube is the second largest search engine. It's very, very powerful. And chances are, if people are searching for particular DV extensions, your videos are going to show up in there. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you're going to be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.